what's up? We're back out here at USC today, and um, I'm gonna let Brian explain to you exactly what we're doing because he hit me with this all of a sudden. I wasn't ready, but tell him. So we're gonna switch it up a little bit. <laughs> so we're gonna do a workout, an extreme workout. It's, it's total body, but we're gonna show you why we need to do the stretches that we're doing for this workout. All right. So I mean. You ready? I'm ready. Look at the outfit. I mean, what's going on? Come on. What's happening? What's happening? All right. So y'all follow us. I mean, you can try it if you want to, but this is like our level that we on. This is what she's built up from since I've been on her. So let's get it. Follow us. Yee! All right. Show me when. Ready, set, go. That's one. Oh yeah. Lift those hands. Uh, two, three. Ah. Yeah, come on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got one more in you? I got one more. All right, more. let's go. Uh. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. We're done. Let's go. You see so, what he does to me? That's a total body workout. Woo. You're working your triceps. You're working the chest, you're working the quad, you're working the hamstrings, you're working the glutes, a little butt cramp, but it is what it is. We're good, but now we're going to show you guys the stretch. <laughs> we're going to show you how to stretch this. How do you feel? I feel good, but tired. I mean, come on now, hopping and you crazy. I am. All right, so we're going bring to bring the stretches back to them. Say, so, yeah, we're going to bring the stretches to you, okay? So lay flat on your back. No, you, you can do it over here, you can do it here. So now we're working the hamstrings, all right? So when you stretch, you want to relax. So just here. So I'm going slow. Keep the patella straight. Don't bend your knees at all. You come here. And tell me to stop. Stop. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Again, we're gonna go with the hamstrings. So when you stretch with the hamstrings, again, if you bend and stretch, you always put your hand behind the knee. Not, you don't wanna stretch here, but you wanna go here. No pressure on the patella, kneecap. So when your trainer if your trainer or whoever's stretching you, the hand on the heel, this hand behind the kneecap, and you push down, relax, relax here. If you wanna press down on the knee, because sometimes this leg will lift up, press down and push in. Tell me when to stop. So you see I'm using my abs to kind of push down on her foot. I'm pressing down with the right arm. Five seconds. When you release, release slowly. Lift, hand under, carry it. So now we're gonna do the other leg. Same thing. Lift under the knee. Press in with this hand. On the heel. Cross this leg over. And press in under the, the kneecap. So again, with the abs, I'm going here. And this hand, I'm pressing above the kneecap. Five seconds left. Now, let's talk about the inner thighs, right? The adductors, here we go. So we're gonna shift it back to this side. You're gonna take this hand, same side as her right leg, left hand, 
lift under the knee again. You relax, relax the leg. She has to relax. You're gonna find that hip bone, right? You're here, you're gonna press. You're gonna push this knee out as you're pushing on the hip bone. Mm-hmm. Tell me when to stop. Yep. Tell me when to stop. Right here, that's fine. 15 seconds. See, she's feeling it. 10 seconds. Five. And release. Again, you want to release it slowly. Same thing on the side. Find that hip bone. I don't think this will go out. Yes, okay. Ouch. Right here? Yes. I'm so stiff over here. So she's a little tighter. So you want to hold this a little longer if you're tighter on mm -hmm. one side. What's up, family? All right, so as promised, Brian and I are going to do some um, stretching today. Um, we, we are going to do one stretch. I think it's the second stretch, Brian that addresses uh, sciatica nerve issues. Yep. But all of these are simple, you can do. It's like, yeah, we know that the foam roller really helps a lot in getting you ready for stretching. Mm -hmm. But today, if you don't have a foam roller, let's just talk about what we have ourselves. Exactly. And we can use us to stretch. Yes. So, Ryan is gonna speak to you as I'm doing these and um, We'll see. And this is if you don't have a trainer. So the next video that we do, um, you know, I'll go ahead and have have it set up to where you can, you know, you can see what your trainer should be doing when they stretch you. So now we're gonna stretch the lower back. So she's gonna pull her legs back and she's gonna hug her shins. And you wanna pull in. Yep. So remember, we're only holding for 10 to 15 seconds. How's that feel? All right. Oh yeah. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five four relax your head three two one and release Ooh. now you're gonna move slowly because we want to get that blood going now you're gonna turn over you're gonna sit on your heels and lay it down crawl your hands out slowly nice another lower back workout glute stretch as well oh there you go so nice nine eight Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and flip over slowly. So now we're gonna work that side of the nerve. So also your hips. So what's gonna happen? You're gonna cross that leg over and pull in. Oh my goodness. So you want to pull behind your be, yep, right behind, right where your quads are at exactly, because huh. you don't want that pressure on those kneecaps. That's nice. Where you feel it at? Where you feel it at? I feel it right in mm -hmm. here. All in that side. Mm -hmm. uh, oh yeah. And we're gonna switch sides. So do the same thing on the other leg. Oh my god. Uh huh. Call his sure? name. You gonna need him. Come on. I, I can't even. You don't say I, I can't. can't. You gotta try. Pull it. Yes, you can. There you go. I... Nice and easy. So remember, it should be mild discomfort. It shouldn't really hurt. It shouldn't tingle. If it tingles or you get you feel a cold sensation or hot, that means it's nerves. You don't want you don't want that. And relax your head. There you go. Nice. We're gonna hold this one a little bit longer since she's tighter. Five, four, three, two, one. Stand up slowly. Oh yeah, there you go. Nice and easy. There you go. So you see how she didn't put her hands on her knees when she stood up? Good for those kneecaps. So now we're gonna stretch your quads. So you're gonna put your hands on a pole and one hand off the pole and pull up on your right leg. Pull up, yes. You wanna align your knees, pull your knees back a little bit. Yes. Right there and then stick your hips in. Straighten out your body, yes. Oh. Yep. Ouch. Mm-hmm. So pull your kneecaps backwards. There you go, right there. Now you're getting a good stretch. Mm-hmm. I feel it differently. When you're in the right position. That's right. So 
Switch, switch sides. Wow. And every time you stretch, you want to move slowly. Don't, when you transition, don't move fast. Her arms is killing the game, y'all. Jeez, bring that knee back a little bit. Yeah. Oh, when you bring the knee back, you feel it differently. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Such and a good stretch. Bring that leg, that foot down. Bring it down, release. Nice. Let's get those calves going. Here? Yep. And then lean into the pole, keeping that back leg straight and the front leg straight. Nice. Pull in more, like, yeah, there you go. You hug that pole. <laughs> yeah. So we're hitting these calves. So it's nice and tight. You see how, if you poke it, it's tight. It's tight. so tight. It is so unbelievably tight. Should I switch? Switch it up. Yep. So will this ever not be as tight? The as long as do this? You just have to keep working on it. Because keep, keep you work out on. so much. So it's this is a lifetime thing. Because it's so tight right now. It feels like it's going to snap. Yeah, it shouldn't, it shouldn't feel like it's going to snap. Well, I mean, it's just so tight. It's yeah. Like, All right. You, you, yeah, you got to do it. You can come off. All right, cool. So, how do you feel? What's going I, on? I feel really good. I'm so glad we're doing this. Yeah. You guys, please, please, please. Now, normally, Brian, how many times would you have me doing each position? So, each position, I would either do like two sets, uh -huh. 15 seconds each, each side. Got Each it. stretch, 15 seconds. Don't do any more than that if you're just starting off. Right. And what did you have me doing to warm me up? So to warm you up, I had you jogging. You jogged about three laps. I had you doing arm movements as you and, were jogging. Uh, some of the arm movements was like... Out to the side. Yep. So you want to... Jogging with this. Uh-huh. You want to warm up those shoulders uh -huh, and pumping. Uh-huh. So when you did that movement that you're doing right now, that's the anterior delts. When you did the sides, that's the medial delts and that's the triceps. So medial means middle. Anterior means front, posterior is back. Okay? So, yeah, so you want to uh, make sure you warm up first before you start stretching. What she was doing was also considered static stretching. Static stretching is when you don't move. So if you go down and go, yep, yeah, uh-huh. So that's, and hold it, that's static.